welcome back to our channel and in this episode we have Buster goes from 500 watts to producing 1300 watts. So I just decided to check on my camper van and uh, it had been re-sprayed and thought to myself, I wonder. That's the reason why it's a little bit down on power. So this is one of the two panels which has come off of the top of Buster. I had to cut round the brackets because I couldn't get underneath very well. Multi-tool is very, very good for this. I must apologise, I didn't record all that much. But what I did record, I've actually put in this video. But as you can see from here, I've... Um, I've already removed one of the solar panels and uh, in the middle of removing the second solar panel and also putting up, seeing where the Unistrut is going to go. I'm just putting the voltmeter on to actually see which one of the two wires is positive and which one is negative. So as you can see here, I've got a round file which I've taken the handle off and I put in the chuck of my electric cordless drill. So I've, I'm taking the threads out because I want to join two uni struts together and leave the slotted holes completely free. So these are the brackets that go in the two channels of the Unistrut, which you'll see in a minute. And um, I need one without threads and one with threads. And this was the easiest way that I found to getting rid of the threads without blunting my drill bit. I put on the non-threaded bracket first of all, and then I put on the threaded bracket and then slide them in the Unistrut and then I will clamp them down but as you can see here this is basically what they'll look like um, I'm just doing this with two test pieces so that you can see as you can see here I've got three pieces of uni strut the bottom uni strut that goes from the passenger side to the driver's side actually um, sits on top of the main structural support for the roof because I've used the original brackets that held the original solar panels. So the second piece of Unistrut is just to give height. The third Unistrut is to run from front to back of the van so all of the solar panels can line up together. Um, the height is so that um, all the vents have enough space un underneath the solar panel and also so all the water will, will basically run off and keep the solar panels cleaner. I'm really surprised with how much solar that I'm actually getting. It's springtime at the moment and I have seen 1250 watts being put into the batteries. I'm, um, yeah, happily excited. I'm over the moon that I'm actually producing more power than what I can actually use. Thanks for watching my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. It's completely free.